Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about some words that a lot of us foreigners absolutely butcher when we come here to Thailand. And these are going to be some of the words that you're commonly going to be saying whether you're wanting to learn Thai or not. So to make sure that I'm doing it right, I'm here with Crew 2. Crew means teacher. And she's actually the operator of Lana Language School here in Chiang Mai. That's the school that I go to. And I know that I've had a lot of comments on the channel when people are saying, oh, you're saying that wrong, you're saying this wrong. Sometimes it's been right, other times, no, it's been wrong. So we're gonna clarify all this right now. So what I've done is I put together a list of the most common words that people do need to pronounce here in Thailand that we absolutely ruin being a foreigner. And it's not necessarily your fault. Well, we're going to get to crew two in a minute there with this. And that is a lot of times that the Thais, when they put things in English, spell it a way that they think that it should be. And when we read it as English speakers, we pronounce it a totally different way. So the first one, and she has no idea what the list is yet. I haven't shown her the words. All right. So I'm going to say the word wrong, and then if you would say it correctly. And the first one, we're going to go over some locations. The first one is always pronounced by English speakers, Koh Samui. Um, okay, so Ko Samui. Not Koh Samui? Mm, Ko, it's K sound. So, right, but when you read it, it's K-O-H. Yeah. So to us, we're saying Ko Samui, but it's actually Ko Samui. So it's like a G A W Ga Ga Samui. And that, so that goes for the other islands. For like Ko Tao would be Ko Tao. Ko Tao. Tao. That's another one when you see it in English, it's written K O H T A O. So mm -hmm. for us, we're thinking Ko Tao. Uh -huh. But it's really a DT sound on DT, yes. So if you know I always say if you can read Thai you can see the difference right between Da De and Ta Tao Te Sao. So so that Ko Tao that you talk about is really Ga Tao. Like a DT sound there at the beginning. Okay, the next one, and I'm sure a lot of you are just waiting for this location because it's so mispronounced. And I'm going to say it totally wrong in a way I've heard it before. Pattaya. Okay, we say Pattaya. Okay, and I've also heard Pattaya as um, Pattaya. Mm, yeah, <laughs> Pattaya. Pattaya. Mm -hmm. Pattaya. Pattaya. All right, so there is the proper way of saying Pattaya. Now the next one is one that if you first glanced at it, looks like a curse word. Can you guess which one this is? And it's a location. It looks like, well, I'm just going to go ahead and say what it looks like. It looks like Phuket. Mm -hmm. It's actually Phuket. 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 All right, another one, and I have no clue how to say this one, so pardon me. It's the name of the airport in Bangkok. It's like Suabumi. Hmm? Where? Su Suabumi? <laughs> okay. It's Suwannapum. Suwannapum. Uh, one more time. Suwannapum. Suwannapum. Mm. Suwannapum. Suwannapum. So it's a Suwannapum airport. Uh huh. So if you were wanting to go to that airport you get into a taxi you want to say Suwannapum airport all right well thank you <laughs> so another location and a place i like to go is here in northern thailand and a lot of people know it and we call it pi only i know that the school has corrected me on this so the correct way to say pi is pi so it's more of a pie. a b sound it's bp pi mm, pi so put BP on the end, so it's, I'm going to buy. I get so many comments. Every time we talk about the motorized vehicle all over Thailand that has three wheels and everyone loves taking it, it's spelled T-U-K, T-U-K if we change it over into English. And I've heard people say it's tuck, tuck, 
and Tuk Tuk. But what is the correct way to say this? Tuk Tuk. Okay, one more. Tuk Tuk. It's sound, okay? Tuk Tuk. So it's a D T sound. So add that D into the front of the T. So it's instead of Tuk Tuk, it's Tuk Tuk. Okay, so that is the correct way to say Tuk Tuk. Tuk Tuk. Now the next one is the greeting you always hear. You hear people say Sabati Kap, Sabati Krap, which we're going to talk about more here in just a minute. So we're going to take this into two parts. First, a lot of times when you see it written in English, they put Sawasdi, which isn't correct, mm -hmm. or Sawadi. So not Sawas or Sawad. Mm -hmm. How do you properly say this? Sawadi. Sawat. D. Mm. Sa wat. So there's a T there. So if you see it written down as a was or a wad, mm -hmm. it's not. It's sa wat D. Uh -huh. All right, the next one isn't necessarily pronounced wrong, but you'll see it's spelled wrong in a lot of places and it confuses people if they have no clue how to properly say it. And that's the currency here in Thailand. It's bot. But you'll see it printed out as bath, B A T H. Any idea why that is? I think it's just misspelling. Just misspelling? <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, if you see that anywhere, it's not bath. You're not paying in bath. You are paying in bot. Yeah, in bot. Now, another word that is mispronounced here is the fighting art that you will find here in Thailand, which I'm going to say it wrong. It's Muay Thai. Ah. I heard Muay Thai, Muay Thai. What's the correct way to say this? Muay Thai. Muay Thai. Uh -huh. So Muay Thai. All right, Muay Thai, if you want to pronounce that it correctly. Yeah. So for a lot of you that are wanting to come here to Thailand, sometimes it's difficult to get a visa to stay here for a longer period of time. So do know this, if, if learning the language is something you want to do, there are things called the ED visa, which is means the education visa. And you can do that in our last word, Muay Thai. If you want to learn how to fight Muay Thai, find a school that offers an ED visa to go along with it. Or you can learn the Thai language, which if you really want to up your experience here in Thailand and have a better experience figuring out you know, what the Thai people are like and how to navigate Thailand even easier, you should probably think about going to a Thai school. And a lot of the Thai schools have an ED visa, like your school at Lana Language School here in Chiang Mai, you have offer ED visas, which is very important. Mm -hmm. Now, a couple of quick questions I want to go over before we, we start or in the video, and that would be, is there anyone who would not be eligible for an ED visa, say a 75 year old man's wanting to come, or maybe a married couple that has a couple of kids? It's actually for the age, it depends on the rule for that school, you know, for my school, you have to be at least 15 years old and we don't have the age limit for upper age limits. You can be, um, we, we had students who 72 before and if, you know, someone asks me, I always recommend people to study Thai for the first year, if you, especially if you're not sure how long you're going to live in Thailand. So maybe the first year try with education, we can learn Thai to see if you like it here, you um, feel comfortable or not, You and then the next year you can try, if you're over 50, you can try retirement. Retirement. Or the family, if you have a family and you have children, um, I will recommend you to apply from your country, which contact school three months before and then we can send the visa application to you and then you can apply at the Thai consulate near you. That would be better because your children can follow your visa also. Uh, mm -hmm. And then one last question and that is, say somebody is here for a year and they've, they've really enjoyed learning Thai but they want to come a second year and possibly a third year, how many years can you stay on an ED visa by, of course, renewing it each year? Um, at my school now, you can do at least two years, mm -hmm. but you know, after one year, you have to leave the country. You can't just do border run and then uh, continue the second years. Mm -hmm. 
How, how, how long do you have to go out of the country before you can come back in to do the second year? You can just do border run. Oh, border run, yeah. just a regular border mm -hmm. run, okay. Well, anyway, well, thank you very much for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. If you feel so inclined, buy us a coffee. We'd really appreciate it. And if you are in the market to come here to Thailand and you want to take some education courses and maybe get that ED visa, check out Lana Language School. If you're going to be in the Chiang Mai area, I go to that school. I wouldn't even think about going to another school. I really enjoy it there. I've been going there a little, about a year and a half now. So check it out. Hopefully it's in the area that you want to be here in Chiang Mai. And until next time, we're both going to say thank you in Thai, which is Kapu Klap.